Hi folks, today I'm going to tell you how to write an Xbox 360 XG3 game, fully 100% burned game with 100% verification result of ABGX by using any light on I has drive and Burner Max Payload 2.15, which is the first release. You can use any light on drive such as I has ABCD models and some of the I have models, some of the light on external drives, many of the light on I has clones such as AS Asus. Uh, Samsung Pioneer and other manufacturers. The basic thing which you need to look in a DVD burner is number one force hyper tuning, smart burn, and overspeed. If a model is from Light On or is um, a Light On cologne but doesn't it has all three features, your burn will not be 100% successful and will have poor quality while reading in the Xbox 360. So I'll suggest you to have a latest model of Light On drives. For this tutorial, I'll be using Light on iHaz 3 due to BX22 with the B revision. Burner Max Payload Tool 0.15, Code to Team Jungle. I'll suggest you to always check for the latest version. MG Burner 2.5.7.0, which is a burning software. And again, I will choose the latest version always when I'm going to write a game. And for the media, I'm using the Banana DVD Plus R DL 8.5 GB clone of the Rico JPN 01C. Note, I'm using a cheap media, a cheap Chinese made media, which is DVD plus R DL, which is dual layer, which is a copy of Rico JPN. So for the best result, if you want the best result, you should have a verbatim DVD plus R DL 8.5 GB, which is Singapore manufactured, because these are the best quality DVDs you will ever have. And one thing to be noticed, do not buy DVD minus R, because they can't set layer breaking code on them. They are static layer breaked. You can choose a dynamic layer break code. And for XGD3 and XGD2, we need to set the layer break code manually. Okay, so let's start the burning process. First of all, there's no DVD in the DVD ROM, so I will insert DVD. There I have 7.96 GB free DVD. So some people will say why 8.5 GB doesn't have the 8.5 GB space because some space is reserved in everything. You use a USB or hard drive or CD, a DVD. Always you will not get the full space. But it will do our trick. So if you open the IMG burn and go to write image. You'll see we have 8.5.47 GB. So we can't write a fully 100% XGD3 on 8.547. We will need much of space then, roughly 8.7 with some bytes. So the old method for that was to flash your light on hard drive some specific models such as 242, 342, 642 with 24x speed. They were given. Uh, recommended by the C for Eva that uh, you will flash their ROMs, install the LTMAX firmware on them and then they will read the whole DVD, the whole 8.7 DVD on the edges too. But what should we do now with the stock firmware? So the new thing, the very the most easy which Team Jungle has released is uh, the Burner Max tool, the Burner Max Pay tool. So if you see this Burner Max Payload 2, it has found three drives and one is I has 322, a standard drive now now it is available in the market. We'll just have to click Burner Max. It'll batch it and now you have 8.7 GB, GB DVD with some rough bytes. So now you can write the whole disk on the edges too. That's what we needed. Now if you open that, it's not updated, so just open the software again. Go to right. Yeah. Now see, you, you say that we have another 8.738 GB. And this DVD can be right at 16x. It's not a good media, as I told you before. It's a uh, Rico JPN Cologne. So I will not write it on... Uh, on 2.4x which is a traditional way to write Xbox 360 because I have tested Xbox 360 with the 2.4x writes and it was not loading. So my setting is to 
burn it on 4x speed. Do not verify because we are going to verify in ABGX and KProp3. With the DVD folder, this tutorial I will be burning uh, the Assassin's Creed 3, which is the last Assassin's Creed. This is the DVD file, but you need this is the ISO file. Like, let me tell you which is the ISO file. Okay, this is the ISO file and this is the DVD file. What DVD file purpose is is that um, it tells the IMG. to write on this layer breaking code which is 2133520 which is the standard layer breaking code for XGT3 and with XG2 we have the different standard codes so if you choose it but if you have the DVD file you can just click on it and layer breaking code will be set automatically if you don't have the .dvd file and you have only the ISO then you have to go to settings go to write layer break code you specific and you have to write here paste here the layer breaking code which is you know I told you I don't remember it now max burn so you have to go to advance go to light on force hypertune enabled if not choose enabled and click on change online hypertuning disabled if not click disable and click change over speed enabled Smart burn enabled. So you need these three settings to be enabled: the force hyper tuning enabled, the over speed enabled, and the smart burn enabled. Or otherwise, you can't write on the cheap medias, and the quality will not be good. Okay, uh, so j you just have to click on the .dvd file. It's about uh, roughly 8.738, which is the original, the real space we have on the DVD. And you just have to click burn and your DVD will be right. So it's just simple as that. Just need a light on DVD burner, um, burner max payload 2, and IMG burn, and you'll be good to go. For the time I'm not writing um, the DVD because I've already written uh, Assassin's Creed on the DVD, uh, but I'll share you the results from Assassin's Creed for the record, I'm showing you the DVDs which I'm going to burn. This is the D Banana DVD Rico JPN, and this is the DVD burn I have used. Right. So the results from uh, the writing DVDs is MG log. You know, the burning started at 4x. It went on, 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 and it completed. I read, uh, wrote it on J on January 6th and finalizing the disk, disk completely, operation success will complete in 27 minutes it needs a lot of time the KPROP result for uh, the quality of the read of DVD, read sectors of DVD you know, there were no errors, zero errors PA was 43, average 7.4 and PIF max 8 and it ran on 4x DVD speed so, and the KPROP result is also in that and if you want to check the ABGX result, it's um, here. You see that? Assassin's Creed 3. Total achievements, everything else. All checks are made. The DVD is verified 100%, so there is not any style of DVD corruption. So DVDs are 100% verifying also. Thanks for watching the tutorial. Happy gaming.